हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज नंदनी हिरानी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज कैनरी आइल सैंडस्ट्रॉम लीव्स थाउजेंड स्ट्रैंडेड स्पेन्स एयरपोर्ट ऑपरेटर एना हैज सस्पेंडेड ऑल फ्लाइट्स इन एंड आउट ऑफ ग्रैंड कैनरिया एंड ऑल फ्लाइट्स लीविंग टेनरिफ अकॉर्डिंग टू रूटर्स न्यूज एजेंसी आफ्टर क्लाउड्स ऑफ रेड सैंड फ्रॉम द सहारा ओवरवेल्म्ड द नॉर्दर्न कैनरी आइलैंड्स सिवियरली रिड्यूसिंग विजिबिलिटी Spain's National Weather Service warned on Saturday evening that winds of up to 120 km per hour are likely to buffet the Canaries until Monday. Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura and Lanzarote are likely to be hardest hit. The government of Canary Islands has recommended that people who suffer from chronic respiratory diseases not go out without medication and advised people to keep their doors and windows closed across the archipelago. Strong winds of up to 120 km per hour carried red sand more than 100 km from the Sahara to the archipelago which is popular with tourists all year round. The weather event is known as the Kalima and is a burst of dust filled wind originating over the Sahara. When strong enough it blows out of Morocco or western Sahara to cover some or all of the Canary Islands. The gusts fanned three wildfires forcing about 2000 residents to flee their homes in Tenerife and Gran Canaria with whatever belongings they could grab. The eight islands were on Monday covered in a murky red haze which had could be seen from space and which witnesses described as resembling the surface of Mars. Over the weekend 745 flights were cancelled and 84 more were diverted to other airports because of the strong winds and low visibility. Hundreds of tourists were left stranded at the airports or forced to find hotels many of which subsequently raised their prices. All primary schools and the islands two universities were closed on Monday. The sandstorm has struck just as the islands prepared to celebrate carnival season. Several towns have cancelled the traditional celebrations. Located off the coast of Morocco and Western Sahara, the Canary Islands temperature climate means the archipelago is a magnet for tourists all year round. Last year 13.1 million foreign visitors came to the islands making it Spain's third most popular tourist region. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news Nandini Hirani. For more weather updates like these, do like, share and subscribe our channel.